We discovered that education is not something which the teacher does, but that it is a natural process which develops spontaneously in the human being. It is not acquired by listening to words, but of experiences in which the child acts on his environment. She believed that the child constructs knowledge from experience in the world. Learning, she said, was not something that needed to be forced or motivated. Instead, learning is something that humans do naturally. The early years, especially, are ones of great mental growth. Throughout the early years of life, the child absorbs impressions from the world around him. A unification of physical and mental energies comes about when a child becomes absorbed in work. Montessori called this normalization. And concentration, she said, was the key. The carefully prepared environments of Montessori schools provide opportunities for children to grow intellectually and emotionally. Five, six, in the math area, the child works with concrete representations of mathematical concepts and gradually moves towards an internalization of abstract math facts without confusion, fear, or boredom at their own pace. They can choose their own activities, but they cannot work with the material they do not know how to use. They are not free to disrupt others or misuse materials. Maria Montessori was born in 1870 in Italy. An only child, she was a vivacious, strong-willed girl. The young Maria insisted on attending a largely male technical secondary school. She chose to study medicine, the first woman in all of Italy to do so. This was a very difficult decision for her traditional father to accept, and one that presented many pitfalls for a young woman of her time. Extremely pretty and well-spoken, the young Dr. Montessori made a big splash with her speeches about women's education and work conditions in Italy. In her second speech, she advocated an issue that still has not entirely been resolved in our own times, equal pay for equal work. In this production, there are four sections. The first chronicles Dr. Montessori's early life. The second, her children's house work, in which she established the core ideas of her educational practice with young children. The third discusses the worldwide spread of her educational practices and the developmental theories she refined in her later years, and finally, her lasting legacy.